the winner of this year's 11th annual SEMA Battle of the Builders presented by Mother's Polish is Noah Alexander. Yeah. And his amazing charger. <laughs> Noah Alexander, this is the winner of the SEMA Battle of the Builders. Noah. You need a moment? Just a moment. Okay, so how are you feeling? Uh, the best part, you know, for us is the people. We met so many incredible people. Battle of the Builders does an amazing job. They put on a great production. Uh, it was just the best thing to be able to talk to all these different builders. We got to hear about all the things they do. They put all their best talent out there. Um, to, in order to share that is really what this hobby is all about. Um, Again, yeah, just want to thank our amazing team from Classic Car Studio and the best customer we've ever had, Mr. Ed from Houston. Thank you, Ed. So now that you have the title of the Battle of the Builders winner, what does that mean for you and your shop back at home? You know, it's an amazing accolade. Uh, the competition every year is incredibly fierce, and we've been following it for years, and some of our... Uh, some of some of the people you know we look up to the most in the industry have won this award so to be considered you know um a peer alongside those people is is really incredible for me and for our entire team you know we, we work together to really build you know the best we can possibly build at that time so just just so so freaking cool thank you so tell us a little bit more about the charger and the build for everybody out here uh, listening uh, cool thing about it, it started off as we're just going to fix some paint issues and uh, do a little interior refresh and rebuild the engine. Um, but we said, Ed, before we start, please come to our shop. We want to show you our capabilities. We do everything in the house. Um, you know, we like to you to be a regular around here while we're doing the work. So he came in and uh, once he kind of saw what was going on, he said, guys, I want you to build me the baddest charger out there. So um, we took that to heart and uh, combined a lot of different various uh, and over the top skill sets we have um, in the shop and you know, put the charger together. What was the best part about the build? Uh, you know, the 68 charger has absolutely incredible drop down, gorgeous lines from the factory. So we wanted to keep that intact but you know we set out to modify as much as possible while make you know while being you know kind of subtle and trying to keep it timeless so we sharpened all the lines on the car um we tucked in the bumpers we shaved the drip rails we just kept going and going and going but it's one of those cars where you really have to step back and look at it to appreciate everything and maybe come back a few times and check it out because there's lots and lots of crazy metal work on it. Um, but again, we wanted to keep it looking like a charger. Stance is king, so we got it hammered down on the ground. But it's built around that stance. It's a fully functional, nice driving car. And uh, Ed says he's going to drive it through potholes in Houston. So we'll see. <laughs> Famous last words. I, I, I'm not sure about that, but it's funny how you say that. Originally, you were only supposed to do a couple of things, and you end up rebuilding an entire ride. This is a hobby where um, excitement is the guiding force and uh, the, the cause of bad financial decisions. But in the end, I think that brings us a ton of joy, um, both you know, our shop and our customers. So it's cool to see somebody, you know, really get into it and embrace the hobby and um, all the talents that, that we can bring forth and put, you know, put it all out there. So thank you. Well, congratulations. The Charger is a stunning ride. So if you guys get a chance to look at it up close and personal, please do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't so mention something about the, the owner wants to drive it over potholes in Houston. I don't think so. I don't think that's a good idea because underneath this ride is perfection. You almost have to see it in person to really appreciate it. For sure. But you want cars are meant to be driven. Yeah. And so hats off to him. I hope he gets some good miles on it.
Yeah, this 68 Charger will not be a trailer queen. Maybe for a little bit. We got to we got to show it off, show off the winner, but this car is absolutely stunning and deserving of this award, but so are the other builders that made it this far. Yeah, this year, I'm telling you, has been the best year of Battle of the Builders. More entries in every single category that were mind-blowing. The off-road category, mine. I mean, just look look at that thing. And, yeah. and look at the other two that we picked for off-road, plus Sport Compact. Ryan's job is really hard. And so that really shows how much this, this contest is gaining traction and just becoming one of the premier car contests in you know, the world. It's cool to have a Datsun. No, I, I, I'm almost speechless because I, it's, it's almost like you need a good hour to really appreciate all the detail that has gone into this ride underneath. For sure. And more. And more. Now it's coming down. You've, I, I think he's got, uh, he's going to be very busy after winning this title. For sure. You know, this one last night, too, uh, at the Roadster Shop, this is going to be a lot of trophies, you know, with this car for a long time. It's building its pedigree. So Noah, Noah's uh, also such a nice guy. I mean, he's so humble, so appreciative. I mean, this entire week, spending the week with all the builders in this competition, that's, that's been the best part because they're truly, genuinely nice guys. Yeah, and what a commitment, right? To come out here, take your car out of the booth, come, you know, join the rest of the builders uh, for a couple of days talking about it and, you know, just outside, right under the frame. So the fact that you're willing to do that, a solid team that built this group. You should pick that and Definitely, team. very deserving. Yeah, and, and this is like an, I want to advertise to you. If you're a builder, and you're out there and you're watching this, you can be here. You can be here in this competition. All you have to do is, is secure a spot at SEMA. That doesn't mean you're automatically in it. You have to actually enter Battle of the Builders, go to the website, and then you know there's a chance that your car could be right here next year. That's right, this could be you. Um, so this is it, Noah Alexander and his 68 Charger won the 11th annual SEMA Battle of the Builders. Powered by Mother's Polish. So the, the inner cooler is actually part of the intake manifold and it cools the air charge. Instead of going to an uh, air uh, Thank <laughs> you. 
Piece and then we made a little max the outer beads and then hold it on like an cap. It's like a little freeze. Thank you. 